I'm gonna show y'all a simple trick today uh, that allows you to cut sections of a video and audio file out without actually having to use an editor. Because uh, normally, if you wanted to say, take a section of a video and use it for something else, you'd have to open up you know, a Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve or something like that to do that. Uh, but fuck that, uh, we have terminal programs. So we're gonna pop over here for a second. Now I have a recording of my wife doing something on Animal Crossing. We're gonna look through it real fast. And there's, um, I want this like first part here before she starts making stuff. So let's say, I don't know, with like the first five seconds of it, first eight seconds, first eight seconds of it. So normally you'd have to, you know, like I said, you'd have to open up like a, a GUI editor to do this. Uh, but if you have FFmpeg, which you probably do because a lot of things use FFmpeg in the background, you don't need the shit. So I want the first eight seconds of this to be its own video. Uh, so we're gonna use FFmpeg dash I to indicate what the input file is. It's gonna be the Overwatch beanie. Uh, now to get only the first 15 seconds, we're gonna pass in this dash T, which, and eight. So what dash T says is, whenever FFmpeg is reading this video file, only write out uh, the, f the first eight seconds and then stop, just stop writing out the file. And uh, we're also going to do dash C copy. What this is doing is, normally when you would uh, cut out a slice of a video using an editor, uh, it would re-encode the audio file, which makes us take uh, maybe it would re-encode the video file, which makes this take substantially longer. But this just copies it over as is, so you don't have to mess with that shit. And then we're gonna call it uh, Overwatch B intro dot mp4. Look at that, that took like half a second. So we're gonna do MVP, just to check it, uh, intro. And you will see that it's only, it's only eight seconds long. That, that, that took, you know, fraction of time it would have took using an editor. Um, now there was another section of this that I wanted at the the end. Let's see, I want, right, so right about 16 minutes in, I want the end of it. So there's another um, flag you can pass in called dash SS. Dash SS is basically tells FFmpeg I want, only want you to start writing data out to a file when you get to this timestamp. And it's in like, like a standard like time format. So we want, um, there's no hours, zero, zero, 16 minutes and zero seconds. Um, again, copy, cause we're not changing the video file. I just want a piece of it. Overwatch beanie, uh, outro by MP4. And, uh, this will take a minute because it has to go through the video file until it actually gets to the point that it wants to start reading out. And boom, you got that whole section in nine seconds. So we're going to Overwatch Beanie uh, outro. And look at that, we have the last 35 seconds of the video uh, without, again, touching an editor. Now I also want the, the middle portion uh, by itself. So the actual like creation process. Uh, and the way we're gonna do this is you can combine uh, those multiple flags I used to get the first and the last half. So let's see, I wanna start around 15 seconds and where do I wanna stop at? Uh, there's another flag you can pass that instead of setting a duration, you can set a stop timestamp. So instead of a duration of say, at the but at the first I said, I only want eight seconds stop. What you can do instead is says, I want you to stop at a specific timestamp. So let's say I'm gonna let this, it's gotta be around here. I wanna see the end, uh, play, okay. So 15.51. So we can combine those two flags to uh, set a start and a stop point for writing out the file data. So we're going to do FFmpeg, uh, same file. So we're going to do dash, dash SS, zero, zero, and it was like, what, it was, a f it was 15 seconds? And then for 
Remember, duration was dash T. Now, if you're setting it based on a time stamp, it's dash T O, and you're gonna do zero, zero, 15 minutes and 51 seconds. And we're gonna copy the whole thing, again, because we're not changing it. And we're gonna call this Overwatch Beanie uh, Creation.mp4. And this is gonna be similar where it's only gonna start writing it when it got to the specified timestamp and then stop writing it once it got to the uh, second timestamp I specified, which was about 15 minutes and 51 seconds into it. So this is gonna let this run. Look at that, okay, 20 seconds. We got that whole thing in 20 seconds. So I don't know how long this would have taken on a normal editor, but I guarantee you it probably would not have taken under a few minutes to do this. So if we look here now, we have, that's not a good way to look at it, don't okay. We have the three main sections of this video cut out without using an editor. And what I can only imagine is a fraction of the time. Now, so you may ask, but well, that's really helpful for videos, but what if I, if I have like an audio file that I want to cut sections out of? Well, guess what? You can do the exact same shit. Uh, we're going to go over to this screen now, and I have this track that I was going to use in one of my wife's, uh, some of my wife's videos. Um, the, the dude on the YouTube channel basically says, oh, you can use this as long as you credit me for it. Uh, so we go look at it. It's this like 8-bit remix of the Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer thing. And let's just say, hmm, uh, well, we're going to take a listen to it real fast just to see what it sounds like. Uh, so we got Animal Crossing. Let's say I want, uh, let's do something similar to what I did with the um, video file. I, I only want the first 15 seconds of it for whatever reason. Um, it's basically the same thing as the video. You pass in the input, and in this case is the Animal Crossing song instead of the video file. Uh, you're gonna do a dash, my brain farted, dash T for 15. And we're copying because we're not changing it. And I'm gonna call it a uh, happy home designer uh, 15.mp3. Boom. Uh, took a fraction of a second. So we're gonna look at that real quick, and you will notice that hey, it's only the first 15 seconds of it. Nice. Um, so what if I wanted, again, what if I wanted like a specific section of it where you say maybe you want, I don't know, the, you want to start within the first minute and then maybe get like the last, like go for like 30 seconds. So we can do FFmpeg dash I Animal Crossing uh, dash SS. Um, I want to start at one minute in and I want 30 seconds after that. Right, yes, 30 seconds. Uh, copy, uh, uh, happy home, I can't spell today, uh, 30.mp3. Uh, yeah, okay. So, happy home, 30. And it started a minute in, and then this is a 30 second clip. Uh, so there you go. Now you can edit out pieces of videos and audio files without ever touching a fucking GUI editor. So I actually forgot to mention one other kind of important thing you can do with this. So those flags I was passing in to say like when to start interacting with the video or audio file or when to stop. So you can actually use those on the input file itself. And sometimes that actually causes a rather significant difference in the speed of what you're trying to achieve. So if we recall, in order to get the end of the little Animal Crossing recording, we did um, dash I uh, mp4 dash ss0016, right? And we're gonna run this again just to see about how long it takes to do this particular process. So we'll let it run. Um, I think the last time I recall it took about nine seconds to do this. And I'm going to show you the other way to do this that is actually much faster. Okay, yeah, so nine seconds. Now, the reason why it takes nine seconds is because 
you're starting from the beginning of the video file and reading the whole thing, but you're not actually writing it out to another file until you get to the specified timestamp. What you can do instead is, is tell FFmpeg to start reading the file at a specific point, which will achieve the same effect, but it actually will be much faster. So we're gonna do FFmpeg, then the same flag, dash SS, 0016, which as we recall was basically the same thing we had before. Then we pass in the input, which in this case, which is the 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 uh, the uh, Animal Crossing, would you get the fuck out of my way? Uh, and we're gonna do copy, and we're gonna call this beanie outro fast.mp4. Now see how long this one takes, boom. Took, that took like a second. Now, why that one was so much faster because it didn't have to read over the entire video file to get to the part it wanted to write out. It just started at the 16 minute mark and then just wrote everything else out. Um, you can combine the this concept of um, having those flags to indicate when you want to start and stop interacting with uh, the input and output, uh, but it gets a little confusing if you're using both. And what I mean is, for example, if I did this similar command, right, but then say after this, I said, well, I want um, 15. So what this is gonna do is, it's gonna start reading this file 16 minutes in, write out 15 seconds and then stop. It's not going to write out the first 15 seconds, but the first 15 seconds starting at the 16 minutes, which maybe seems a little weird. Uh, one that's probably that confused me initially more was if you're trying to do the timestamp approach. So if you're doing the timestamp approach, uh, let's say that I, I I made the mistake of saying that I wanted the I wanted the video to stop at 16 minutes and 30 seconds. Let's say to what ignorant me thought this was the same thing as the saying, well, I just want the uh, the 15 seconds. Uh, but what you'll actually see is this is not right because when you get to the other side of the um, input, this this these timestamps it's using to write out the file, th there is no 16 minute timestamp because this part only sees what it sees from this part. So I think the most this goes is like 30 seconds. So you're just gonna get the whole the whole video file basically. Uh, what you instead would have to do is uh, do that. That would be equivalent because what it's saying, okay, that the output data, I want to stop 15 seconds into the output data. It's a little it's a little uh, confusing. But if you just kind of if if you can understand that basically uh, when you're messing with FFmpeg, FFmpeg has two sides: it has an input and an output. Um, the input and the output have no knowledge of each other. So if you start if you if you, if you start giving the output uh, data from another file, but you didn't start the at the beginning. The output doesn't know that. The only thing the output knows is, oh, okay, I'm, I'm just getting data, don't know where the hell it came from, and you're telling me to stop at 16 minutes. Well, I'm going and I'm going, oh, the stream ran out because there's not 16 minutes of data left. There's like 30 seconds of data left. Um, so uh, using the timestamp flags on the input uh, can actually speed these process up, processes up substantially just as long as you don't accidentally confuse yourself. If you would like to see more of these little uh, non-editor based uh, editing tricks, uh, do me a favor, leave me a like down below, subscribe if you haven't, and comment down below what trick you would like me to figure out or just tell you if I have, if I already know what it is. Uh, and with that having been said, uh, y'all have a y'all come on back now and I'll see you next time.